It's the 105th edition and this is brought to you in association with Sage Publications. And uh, it's a great collaboration that we really look forward to. And uh, welcome everyone. And it'd be great if you can turn on the camera. We have some exciting questions brought to you by none other than our own mascot, Cutie. For those of you who are meeting Cutie for the first time, we promise you a great lot of learning and fun. Huge shout out to our partners for today, the Sage Books, uh, and they're celebrating the 25th anniversary or the Silver uh, Jubilee celebrations. Uh, for the business books specifically with us. And with that, please put your hands together for our guest quiz master, Mr. Harjeet Khanduja, the Senior Vice President of the Human Resources uh, from Reliance Geo. While we get started, sir, uh, just a quick question. What was the most difficult decision that you have taken? Maybe coming to Kyushala. Okay. And uh, that's absolutely understandable, sir. Uh, and thank you. I know you're not feeling well, but you still uh, were committed to come. Thank you so much. It means the world to us. I have Rahul Acharya, sir, who's actually telling me that his parents have a letter from Netflix when they ordered DVDs back in the day. So that's really great. I just quickly want to know from our audience, what do you think is the vision statement of Kyushala? Leshani says, spread knowledge. Rajiv Ratnam says, making quiz fun. Uh, create curiosity, spread knowledge and curiosity among students, ignite curiosity. Well, curiosity is definitely at the heart of all learning and that's what we believe. So are you ready for the next question? Yep. Okay, here we go. Back in 1993, there was a IT organization which granted stocks to its employees. And that this goodwill gesture made India's first salaried millionaires. What is the name of the company? So why did these companies actually give stock to their employees? So that they feel they work towards making sure uh, it is their own company and they grow it like as their own company. So uh, that makes a huge uh, difference. Then everyone's future is linked to the company that you can make as, mon as much money as you want if you grow in the organization. So, and of course, Infosys is the answer and you can see uh, Mr. Narayan will be on the left. So, so why did why did the founders of Google, which like a huge organization and Alphabet, right? So why did they set up the secret factory called Moonshot? So, it is not a secret factory. Uh, they do semi-secret research and uh, Look, there are many organizations which believe in the future and they bring the future. You see uh, uh, SpaceX, what uh, SpaceX is doing, they are sending, they are thinking of that there is going to be a colony in Mars someday. So, uh, all these organizations are trying to define the future. And uh, Moon Factory, uh, Moonshot, is uh, one of those organizations. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time, sir. And for those of you who are really interested in grabbing a copy of How Leaders Decide for Yourself, we're just sharing a link on the chat. So, sir, just before you leave, we just wanted to know, what is your message for all the families who are participating here? Um, I came to know about Kyushala very recently. And when I'm seeing this, uh, you guys are doing a great job. One is the conducting Kyushala and second is all the people who are attending. Hats off to you. Uh, you are investing your time in the right thing. So here is your next question which says, shown here is the resume of which tech entrepreneur? Your options are Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. Probably you can take a clue from picture as well. Something that you that will get you closer to the correct answer. And what do you think it is? Last five seconds for you to guess. And it's Howard how, University and yes. Seattle. Those are your clues. R absolutely. And with those clues, Bill Gates is the correct answer. And uh, Komal, can we invite our guest quiz master for the next question? Yes, so our guest quiz master for today is Kinjal. Hi, Kinjal. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. 
Are you ready to present your question? Yeah, sure. Should we go ahead? Yes, please. Okay, so next question coming up for you. Remember, it's just for 30 seconds, so you have to be super quick. And with that, um, over to you, Kin Kinjal, to present your question. So, Jaspreet Bumra scored the highest runs in an over against a bowler in Test cricket in the recently concluded Test um, Test fifth Test in at Boston. Another Indian batsman scored highest runs in an over in the T20 World Cup against the same bowler. Name the Indian batsman who scored the highest runs in an over in T20 World Cup. Um, the options are Sachin Tendulkar, MS Dhoni, Virat Kohli, and Yuvraj Singh. Here is the correct answer. What do you think, Kinjal? Do you want to read about all the uh, fact, trivia facts that you have for yeah. Yuvraj Singh? So, former India all-rounder Yuvraj Singh scripted history in the shortest format by smashing six sixes in an over against England in the first ever T20 World Cup in 2007 in South Africa. Um, the bowler he shot, he smashed six sixes against is Stuart Broad. And with that, Yuvraj Singh being the right answer. And yes, it was a fascinating moment. Do you remember Vaishnavi when uh, he hit those six sixes in an over? And then he really took the entire country by surprise. Just curious, Kinjal, are you a huge cricket fan? Yes, I watch almost each and every series. There is. Hence the question. Great question there, Kinjal. Thank you for the questions. And anybody else who wants to be a guest quiz master in the upcoming editions, you can always let us know on the chat.